let's talk about worship and Christian music. What is worship? We Christians use this word all the time, but if someone were to ask you to define worship, what would you say? Is worship an action, such as lifting up your hands or bowing down, or is it something more? Scripture indicates that worship is this, putting God first in everything you think, say, or do. Proverbs 3, 6 puts it this way, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. When the passage says, all thy ways, it means just that, all of your ways, everything about your life. This means that worship is a lifestyle, not an action. Worship is a constant way of life that doesn't end when the church service is over and the choir has stopped singing. So let's clear up some misconceptions about worship. Is worshiping God the same thing as believing in Him? No, because in James 2.19 it says even the devil believes in God, and the devil clearly does not worship God. Is worshiping God the same thing as shouting to Him? Again, no it is not. In Luke 4.33-34, even demons shouted to Jesus and said that He was holy. Is worship that feeling you get when you get goosebumps all over? Again, the answer is no, because even people who don't believe in God can still experience goosebumps. Is worship determined by your bodily posture, whether or not you're kneeling or have raised hands? Again, the answer is no, because in Luke 8.28, even unclean spirits bow down before Jesus. Even Jesus in Luke 4.24 said, that worship is something that you do with your spirit. And that is why Jesus said, them that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. Actions that you take, such as kneeling or singing to God or shouting, indicate worship that is already there, but those actions do not create the worship itself. Just shouting to Jesus does not cause a relationship with God to happen. However, if you have a relationship with God, it will make you want to kneel or make you want to bow down at the name of Jesus. So let's talk about music. What about gospel music or Christian music or contemporary Christian or whatever you want to call it? Some may say that Christian music is meant to get the people into a state of worship, but this is not what scripture teaches. According to Colossians 3.16, the purpose of Christian music is to teach others about God's Word and instruct people how to avoid sin. That's why it says in Colossians 3.16, Let the Word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Since we've already discussed that worship is a lifestyle, not a specific posture, we know that there is no such thing as a mood of worship, because moods come and go. And so if worship were a mood, that would be like saying your relationship with God comes and goes. And it doesn't work that way. Either you have a relationship with God, or you don't. According to scripture, Christian music is not meant to create worship, but it's meant to express worship that's already in your heart. Ephesians 5, 19 through 20 shows us that Christian music is meant to express thanksgiving to God, but that thanksgiving is already in the person's heart before the music started. The music does not create that person's sense of thanksgiving. Because in Ephesians 5, 17 through 18, we see that worship in Christian music comes from already understanding how good God is. Worship doesn't begin with music, and it doesn't end with it either. It doesn't begin with the choir or the shouting. Worship begins and ends with the choice to give God everything. That is why Romans 12, 1 through 2 says, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So worship there is seen as a transformed mind, 
not necessarily a shout or a jump or any of those other things. Worship is about your mind and your spirit and whether or not you've given it all to God. To sum it all up, Colossians 3.17 And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. God bless you.